Hey folks, Colin here from Something's Recording, and today I'm going to show you how to get your vocals to cut through the mix using clipping. We're going to be using some analog vibe and some clipping energy to get our vocals to cut through the mix a little bit better here today. But before we dive in, if you're ready to take your vocal mixes to the next level and really start dialing in your EQ strategy when it comes to mixing vocals, then I have just the thing for you. It is my ultimate guide to vocal EQ, and it's just a simple PDF that will walk you through how to EQ your vocals step by step to help you get polished and professional sounding vocal mixes without any more of the guesswork. It is a completely free guide, and you can download it below using the link in the video description. Now let's jump in here and take a look at these vocals. So let me start, of course, by playing you the finished mix here for this track, and you can kind of hear where the song is sitting and where our vocals sit in here. This is a big ending section here, even though it doesn't look like there's a lot of tracks, there's everything going at once, meaning there's guitars, bass, drums, keyboards, vocals, and there's a guitar solo going as well. So we need a little extra oomph to get our vocal to compete here and just kind of sit above our guitar solo or at least compete with it. So take a listen here to our ending section. I'll back up just a little bit. You can hear our solo going into it as well. Awesome. So you can hear our vocal has some good energy in it already and there's a harmony there supporting it in this bigger section. But that lead guitar has a lot of fuzz, a lot of grit on it, and I want to add some of that kind of energy to our vocal. But we're going to do it with a clipping plugin. So we're going to reach for um, something I've been trying out lately and it's this gold clip plugin by Schwab. And I'm actually going to duplicate our track here. So I could run it in uh, parallel. Or actually, let's create a send. So I'm going to create a, a new bus channel here. And we'll call it a gold clip. If I can capitalize correctly. We'll make it white because we'll kind of use it as a parallel effect here. And we'll send it out to the mix bus. I'm going to solo safe it here. And if you don't know how to solo safe in Studio One, it's shift click. And that just means anything that's sending to this bus will also solo this bus. So if I solo whatever's sending to this bus, so we'll send our vocal here. So if I solo the vocal, you can see it, it solos the effect that the vocal is sending to as well. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put, I'm gonna send full signal as well. I'm gonna put gold clip here on the bus. So we're gonna have a parallel chain. This means we're gonna leave our lead vocal unaffected here. I want to keep the lead vocal as it is, but I want to have this parallel here to add some extra oomph. Now the gold clip plugin is an emulation of the old Lavery Gold uh, hardware unit, so it's going to give some of that analog vibe, which is what I'm looking for. I don't want to just reach for, you know, a distortion plugin and just add distortion. That can be flat and digital sounding. I want to add some analog vibe as well. So I'm reaching for this, this gold clip Lavery Gold plugin, and let's see what we can do here. So I'm going to solo this up. We're going to loop this vocal section here, and let's see let's see what we're sounding like. This is just our vocal, just running through the plugin, no processing going on uh, on the plugin. So this is what our raw vocal, or not our raw vocal. This is what our lead vocal sounds like. Bitterest tears on my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm haunted night and day by the words that I didn't say. Well, something's got a bitterest tears on my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. So you can hear it's a good sounding vocal mix and it sits properly inside the mix, but we need to add that extra oomph of energy to sit with this lead guitar passage at the end. So let's add add some grit, but let's add some analog grit here, some, some warmth, some oomph. So I'm gonna hit play. What we're going to do first is let's push our input up and see what we can get just by cranking our input. So I'm going to link the input and output 
That way our volume's not increasing. We're just pushing harder into uh, the clipper here. Bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm haunted night and day by the words that I didn't say. Well, something's got a bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. So we're hitting the ceiling on our clipper now, which is still at zero. Before I pull the ceiling down, I'm gonna add some, some of this gold nub here, which is gonna give us an extra bump of gain. And I'm gonna switch to the classic one, which is a little bit fatter and gives a little bit more power. Bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm haunted night and day by the words that I didn't say. Well, something's got a bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. Something that's nice about the gold knob is you can see it gives us sort of this compression effect. And if you watch, you can see our, our, our kind of volume analyzer here. And then if you watch our output volume, you can see our, our, our volume is pretty much pinned now on our lead vocal. Bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm haunted night and day by the words that I didn't say. Well, something's got a better. So now when we add this in, when we tuck this underneath our original vocal, it's gonna be something that's really, really consistent and really, really even here. So now let's pull our ceiling down and start to add some of this analog distortion, this analog clipping vibe in, because as we pull the ceiling down, we're gonna be pushing harder and harder past our ceiling. That's where we're gonna get that breakup. Bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm haunted night and day by the words that I didn't say. Well, something's got a bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm haunted night and day by the words that I didn't say. Well, something's got a bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm haunted night and day by the words that... Awesome, now we have that little bit of edge, that breakup, that distortion that we're adding into our vocal, but it doesn't sound like we're just cranking up, you know, a distortion pedal or a distortion plugin. It's that, that vibe of pushing really, really hard into a piece of hardware, which is awesome. Now let's mess with our, our two other knobs here. We have our box tone, and then we have the actual clipper function. So our box tone is gonna give us two different types of roll off here. There's classic and then modern, which has a little bit of mid-range ripple, which might sound nice. And then our two other clipper functions. Hard might give us something more aggressive. So let's see what we're sounding like. Bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm haunted night and day by the words that I didn't say. Well, something's got a bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. So for the clipper function here, the clipper mode, I'm liking classic. Classic feels the most uh, analog warmth to me. It feels like it's adding the most warmth there to me. Um, modern felt a little too fat and a little too thick. And then of course, uh, hard was very clearly too aggressive. I would have, probably have to dial some of the settings back here if I was gonna go hard, but that was that was more edging towards too aggressive and that's not, not what I'm going for here. Just wanna add some of that, that push. Now let's see what our box tone gets us. I'm haunted night and day by the words that I didn't say. Well, something's got a bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm haunted night and day by the words that I didn't say. Well, something's got a bitterest tears. Dig in the modern box tone here uh, as it gives us that little ripple that kind of reaches down towards the high mid area. So that's sounding really, really good. Now, uh, something you could do with this plugin, um, it kind of has a, a dry, wet mix knob over here on the side. So if you wanted to put this directly on your lead vocal and then kind of mix between them, you could do that. You can, you can link these two knobs here and then mix between uh, the dry and wet settings directly on the plugin. Sometimes there's a little bit of volume discrepancy there. So I, I don't quite wanna do that. I, I'd rather have it on a separate channel. That way I'm not touching the original lead vocal here. I have that right where I want it and I can add this on top of it. So this is sounding pretty good here. Uh, let's pull this back and see where we're sitting as we mix this in underneath our original lead vocal. 
uh, first by itself, and then we'll throw it in the track. Bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm haunted night and day by the words that I didn't say. Well, something's got a bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm haunted night and day by the words that I didn't say. Well, something's got a bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm on to night and day. That's that extra push of power that I'm looking for. Uh, one other thing I do want to try here is maybe cranking up uh, the alchemy knob here on, on this plugin and see what we can get. Bitterest tears on my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm haunted night and day by the words that I didn't say. Well, something's got a bitterest tears on my darkest fears, all the deeds that I... Eh, that's feel, I feel like that's adding too much uh, bottom end back into it, so we're going to leave that out. Let's throw this back in the track and see if we need to crank it any higher here, and we'll add the reverb back in as well on our lead vocal. So, full track going, and we're cranking up this gold clip underneath. Bitterest tears on my darkest fears, all the deeds vocals sitting right there out front with that lead guitar solo. It has that sizzle to it, it has that kind of fuzz and grit to it, and it's something underneath that's very consistent. It's kind of, it's, it, it's pretty much pinned, right? Our gold clip setting here, the, the volume is pinned on the vocal, so it's something very consistent we're adding underneath our lead vocal here. Listen one more time, and I'll AB our gold clip, and I'll solo it up so you can hear it as well one more time. Darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. I'm haunted night and day by the words that I didn't say. Well, something's got a bitterest tears, all my darkest fears, all the deeds that I left undone. So if you're struggling to get your vocals to sit out front, to sit on top of the mix, and to really cut through your track, try parallel processing with a more analog style clipper here. So this is the gold clip emulating the Lavery Gold. We're pushing our input all the way up, pulling that ceiling down to get that little bit of distortion and using our gold knob to add that extra analog gain. I hope that was helpful for you. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're ready to take your vocal mixes to the next level and really start dialing in your EQ strategy, then I have just the tool for you and it is completely free. It is my ultimate guide to vocal EQ, and you can download it below to start creating more polished vocal mixes in less time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.